as we progress as writers, one of the things that we need to do, one of the things we really need to get a handle on is the writing process. Now, actually, in this class, we're going to be talking not so much about the writing process as the composition process or even the creative process, because we're interested in making things beyond just alphabetic text on a page. We're thinking about websites and iPhone apps and blueprints and, and dances and just anything that you can make, anything that a creative person might be involved in. How do we go about making and, and developing and inventing those thoughts, ideas, processes, and products. And so we're, we're talking right now today about the composition or the creative process. We're going to begin with a circle. Um, one of the nice things about a circle is that it is recursive. Uh, and just like any circle, this circle can move in this direction. And so we'll talk about moving in this direction. Uh, but we can also move the circle in the other direction. Uh, the recursive process can go in both directions. We'll talk about this a little bit more in a minute. Uh, at the beginning of the creative process, at the beginning of the creative process, we have invention. And invention is, is where all the thinking happens, right? Um, this is where you have things like brainstorming, uh, pre-writing, even just chatting with people. Maybe you like to exercise or, or you like to go for a drive. These are where we get our ideas just starting to gel together. What is it that we're trying to do? When I set out for a project, when I set out to try to think about something, I like to go for uh, uh, long drives. I don't even turn on the radio. I just kind of get on the road and I let my brain kind of work out what it is that I'm, I'm just trying to do. So from invention, from invention, we move on to drafting. Drafting is when we actually set things down to paper when we're when we're doing the things that we set out to do. And that, there are actually th three stages to drafting. There's early drafting, middle drafting, and late stage drafting. Now in early drafting, this is really close to invention. Uh, it might look like bullet points. It might look like notes to yourself. Maybe if you've ever done the thing where you think up like a really good sentence and you write down the sentence and there's no paragraph with it. It's it's just a sentence or it's a doodle of a sketch. Uh, and so, you you know, you haven't really set down anything yet, but you're you you're you're just working out your ideas. And so early drafting, it really doesn't look like anything to anyone else. To you, it makes sense. Middle stage drafting is where everything begins to take shape. If you were writing a blog, it starts to look like a blog. If you were writing an essay, it starts to look like an essay. If you were developing a website, you've got something that is starting to really look like a website. And then late stage drafting is as good as you can do on your own. You've taken it as far as you can take it. And back maybe in, in high school, uh, this is where your writing process would stop. As good as you could get it, and then you would turn it in. You would turn it into the teacher. This is, this is as good as I can do. Here, though, we're going to push it just even a little bit further. After invention and after drafting, we have evaluation. How do I know if what I made is any good. So evaluation is a process where you ask yourself, is it good? You get feedback. You work through revision, which is not the same as editing. We'll have a, a lesson on that later. And you get back to the question of whether you've made anything good. And this is the creative process. 
you think up stuff, you invent, you create, you, you mull out your ideas, you put them down, you make them, and then you evaluate them. And generally, people work through the process in this way. But often, you have to work back and forth. So for me, when I'm writing, when I'm uh, making things, I, and I, I do a lot of different kinds of uh, writing and artistic things, I will go back and forth between invention and drafting a lot in my early stages, right? I'm, I'm going to come with an idea and I'm going to immediately start working on it and I'm going to revise very quickly. And then I go between drafting and evaluating a lot. So I, my writing process has a lot of bouncing back and forth. You might be the kind of person where um, you, you, you basically make your whole project and then you look at it and you say, is this any good? You write all five pages of an essay and then you say, is this any good? Me, I'm more of a paragraph by paragraph person. I'll write a couple sentences and I'll look at them to, to get a, a, a feeling of where I'm going, what I'm trying to do. Uh, and then, and then... Sometimes, sometimes you look at what you've, you've, you've made, you decide, I, I don't know if this is any good. And you have to go all the way back, all the way back to invention. Now, one of the, one of the interesting things about the creative process, because it's a loop, because it's recursive, you could be stuck in here forever. And so at some point, out of evaluation, out of evaluation, you have to ask yourself, Am I done? And if you're done, or you think you're done, you submit it. Now, maybe you submit it to your teacher. Maybe you submit it to your boss. Maybe you submit it to a contest or a, a, a journal or a magazine or any... There's so many things you could, you could submit it to. And if it is accepted... You're done. You end up being published. And that's a really cool thing. But, and this happens all the time, sometimes the answer is, no, it's not submitted. Or, I mean, it's not accepted. You submitted it, your teacher looked at it and said, please do it again. Uh, the contest didn't, uh, didn't pick you to win. The journal wants you to revise. All kinds of... you. No's are a regular part. Your boss looks at it and says, we need to fix these things. The user says, let's do this again. And so the no sends you back into the writing process. The no sends you back into the writing process. Sometimes you go all the way back to invention. Sometimes you go to drafting. Sometimes it sends you back uh, to a group of beta testers or a revision group um, to get more and more feedback. This is the composition and creative process. Everyone's process, and here's, so this is, this is the, the kind of general creative uh, process. Everyone is going to be slightly personalized. So as you've seen here, I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between invention and drafting, and then back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between drafting and evaluation. I spend a lot of time mostly in drafting. Um, you might spend a lot of time inventing, thinking up, planning, 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 so that by the time you actually execute and draft your project, you've done so much thinking that all you have to do is get it down on the page, right? Um, so yes, your process is individual to you, but everyone should have a creative or composition process, something to help guide your steps as you design, develop, plan, and execute. What's your writing process?